In this presentation, we're going to go over five leaders that you should learn from and discuss what makes them great. I want to emphasize that while you should incorporate your own leadership style, you'll want to consider getting some kind of inspiration from these leaders in terms of how they handled times of crisis, managed their time, or dealt with any kind of critical situation that they faced. Let's begin with the first leader on our list, and that is Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was an army general and supreme commander of the Allied forces in Europe during World War II. He later served two terms as President of the United States. He developed a model for time management known as the Eisenhower Matrix. He created a four-sided matrix where he would plan and prioritize his tasks from urgent and important to, well, not urgent and not important. So if he had a task in the upper left-hand corner, that was urgent and important and he needed to get it done. Whereas if it was urgent but not important, he could delegate it to someone else. Google more information about the Eisenhower matrix and put it to good use if you want to manage your time. Second on the list, we have Walt Disney. He made a crucial decision that could either make or break his production company, whether he should or should not make a feature-length animated cartoon. He decided to press ahead, despite nobody having made such a movie before. When Snow White and the Seven Dwarves came out in 1937, it saved the Disney Corporation from bankruptcy. Since then, it has become one of the more recognized companies in the world. This happened because Disney had to make a decision that may either save his company or drive it under. He wasn't afraid to take risks and it paid off big time. Number three on the list is someone who perhaps was one of the greatest communicators the world has ever known. Sir Winston Churchill. He was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom during World War II and he spoke regularly to the people of the country. He did it so people would understand him. During his speeches, he would inject a bit of humour and keep people on their toes. He knew what to say and how to say it and the country listened. He was credited for saving the United Kingdom from Hitler and the Nazis. Fourth on the list, whether you're religious or not, is Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She is someone whom I consider a great leader because of her emphasis on compassion. She spent much of her life helping the poor, the sick and the dying. She cared for them and did everything she could to help lighten the workload of other people who worked along with her. Needless to say, she was kind, was able to listen to people and was able to empathise with them. Last on the list is Dr Martin Luther King Jr. His famous I have a dream speech was perhaps one of the greatest given by someone who has never held a political office. He did it in a time when he wanted people to live together in peace without resentment. He was able to push through his cause without using violence, despite facing it himself, including his assassination in 1968. He wanted a peaceful resolution and made sure it was done. We could give credit to him, along with the others who fought alongside him to defeat segregation in the United States, for the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. These five leaders have been instrumental in their leadership skills, and you may draw inspiration from them in the way you may be leading yourself. If you liked this presentation, please let us know. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.